Starlink speed test. How fast is a Starlink for RV in Philadelphia? We've been speed testing Starlink internet for six months now. With our Starlink for RV set up on our office building roof, we learned how to boost the Starlink connection speed and avoid any internet reliability issues. Here's the data for early 2023. What's a good Starlink internet download speed? What about upload speed? How does that compare to your old connection? DSL, cable, is it worth the money? These are just a few questions we are gonna try and answer today based on the data we have from our Starlink for RV, which is set up on the top of our office building in sunny Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you get notified when we post more Starlink videos and internet how-tos. One of the most important aspects when deciding to go with satellite internet like Starlink is how fast it'll be. So we ran a few Starlink speed tests to see just that. Just to clarify, we are at the edge of the coverage range, and we're expecting to be fully in the area later in 2023. So here's what we got. As you can see, the maximum download and upload speeds we got in our Starlink speed test allow for live streaming at full HD. But you also need reliability for live streaming. You've probably seen Starlink owners, especially those in remote areas, complaining about disconnects and poor performance of their connection, even though after speed testing Starlink, it looked like there was nothing wrong with it. This may be due to the satellite network. Connectivity is based on having a satellite overhead and they are whizzing by. So if they're overhead, it's fast and great. If none are overhead, it is slower disconnected. Uh, could also be weather, obstructions in front of your dish, all sorts of things. But this is not the sort of thing that you want to have happen when you're working remotely, having a video call, playing games online, or live streaming. The proven solution for this is to use two or more internet connections together at the same time. Your Starlink internet and another connection, older DSL or cable connection, or if not, you can use your phone's cellular connection as your secondary or backup connection. You can easily do this with Speedify, an app that allows you to do exactly this. Use two or more connections together at the same time. When your Starlink connection will act out or disconnect, the other one will pick up the traffic and keep you online till Starlink is back at full speed. Speedify is the only app that lets you combine your Starlink with multiple internet sources into one bonded super connection for better speed, security, and stability. You can download it at speedify.com for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. So is Starlink worth the money? We definitely believe so. It's a higher speed, lower latency alternative to your remote internet connection and even other satellite services. If you can afford it, get it. But remember to keep a backup connection available for use and use it together with Starlink via Speedify. That will save you from a lot of headaches and missed opportunities. If you need more tips and tricks about using Starlink efficiently, then check out the videos and playlists on our channel and make sure you subscribe and tap that notification bell. Thank you.